Safety for the sitter. Being a babysitter can be a lot of fun, but it's also a little scary. You'll be in new situations and sometimes things will go wrong and you won't know what to do. Unless you watch this video, because I'm going to tell you exactly how to stay safe when things go bad. Here are the real adventures in babysitting. The three things that can really turn your night of babysitting into an adventure and trying to stay safe and sound. Let's start with the weather. Usually the weather is pretty harmless. It can even be really nice but occasionally it will completely betray you. If there is a severe thunderstorm or tornado warning, stay calm and take the children you're babysitting to the basement. If there's no basement, go to an interior room without windows, such as a bathroom. Take your phone with you so you can access weather or safety instructions. Stay there until the warning has expired or the storm has passed. Next on the list and something that you might have to deal with if there are storms in the area, power outages. The power can go out for a lot of reasons. The weather, too many things are plugged in at one time, even damaged power lines in the area. When the power goes out when you're babysitting, it creates two problems. One, you have no electricity. And two, the kids you're babysitting might panic. The most important thing in this situation is to stay calm. Do not, I repeat, do not scream. It might make you feel better, but it's going to make the kids you're babysitting feel worse. See, they think you're the grown-up that's got everything under control. So even if you're scared, stay calm and find a flashlight. Ahem, here's a hint. There's one on your phone. After that, it's time to call in some backup. That's right. Get an adult to come help. This adult might be the parents who hired you, a neighbor, or even your own parents. Last on the list, and the scariest thing of all, fire or the smell of smoke. Fire is serious business, so if you see flames or smell smoke, take the children and leave the house. Do not pass go, do not collect $200, don't even stop to find Fluffy the Cat before you leave. It's the firefighter's job to get Fluffy the Cat to safety. Your job is to get you and those children to safety. Call 911 once you're safely outside, go to the neighbor's house to call if you don't have a phone on you, and don't go back into the house for any reason. Finally, call the parents who have hired you once the firefighters and emergency responders have arrived. Follow these directions, even if it's just a little kitchen fire or if you think you smell smoke but you can't tell where it's coming from. It's always better to stay safe. Still have questions? Leave it in a comment below.